Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a Zanussi. No, maybe it's not. I don't know. Let's have a look. Whoa. AG Electrolux. Pretty much a Zanussi. Uh, Electricity Bendix. All the same. Washer dryer. Lavamat Turbo. There's a number there. 16830. There it is. Yep. Yeah. Okay, you can see it. Inside, it's got a load of gubbinses. It's one of these ones where the back splits off, which makes it quite easy to access everything once you've taken out 100,000 screws. Let's tip that up again. I've taken the motor out. Hi, Henry. Because I want to have a look at it. It's up on the bench. Up on the bench, meanwhile, is this little motor. And a little motor normally means no fun. Little motor. Not that one. Oh, well, it does tell you this week 17 from 26 2006. Okay, CE set motor. You with me? Three phase induction motor. 195 volts, 17,000 RPM, 3 amps, 300 hertz. Now, this is the ideal candidate for a variable frequency drive if you've got one. And if you don't have one, what do you do? Nothing. You can't do anything with it. Right. <sighs> I'll look at the wiring. Two reds. Three colours. Two reds. Taco. They go up there on the back to the taco. Three colours. Live, live, live. And there's a ground earth cable connector there. This has been sat outside probably for over a year. I got it months ago. <laughs> Many, many months ago, and I've done nothing with it. I've been checking out my other motors. I haven't got many at the moment. None of them have the same configuration. We had it before in a hot point at Qualtus, where I was able to put in a brushed uh, commutator motor, standard universal motor to swap out. But for this one, I haven't got a similar configuration. And it's just a shame that I don't keep everything. But like, you know, reality catches up with you. So what I'm gonna do is see if in here, let's just see. Well, it's probably not the best for it. Um, it's hooked on there somehow. I'll have to get that off. Alright, so aside from me doing the old Bruce Lee on this, I just damaged some of the plastic. There's not much to it. There's lots to it. It's quite a complicated piece of kit. This circuit board, which happens to be soaking wet, doesn't bode well. This is the driver for the... Let's get this wire off it. This is the driver for the motor. The white cable is the motor cable, then it had two grey cables that were quite heavy, you know, like standard 240 volt kind of size, kind of standard amps at 200, you know, like that kind of 13 amp cable. How am I going to get this out? Is it going to come out? I don't know. I don't, I don't really want to break this, even though I gave it the kung fu. There's a lot of switches in there and one mother of a capacitor. But if there's a big capacitor in there, maybe, 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 maybe. Where does this come out? I don't want to take those screws out because they're just holding on the heatsink to the board. And the heatsink is. It seems like it's caught here somewhere. I think this thing snaps in. Yep, that's it. Okay. There we go. Transformer. Giant capacitor, let's just check that that's all. Tickety boo. It hasn't been charged up in ages. So short of that capacitor. It's damp, it's not it's not wet. A lot of switches in there. It's a four-legged one. A load of three-legged ones. Can't tell you what they are until I see them. Can't see them because they've got little connectors on them. How would you get them out? I don't want to damage this because I have a feeling it works. Right, so power coming in there. Motor going out this way, I think. Which way was it? Yeah. Like that. That was motor. And then this one here, I think, over here, was like a small kind of brains thing. Like a control uh, thing to tell it what to do. 
Same with all that, it just goes mental and does its thing. Big relay there, I don't know what that one is, maybe another capacitor. Big old transformer there. So what do we say about power coming in? Where was that? Here. That one and that one. Going to the relay, I guess. Transformer, where's it going? Over to here, over to here. One of those will all be live then. Motor. Two tacos on the motor, little tiny ones, see? Three big ones coming from here, here, and here. Dear, oh dear. That's uh, above my pay grade. And that was your earth there. Not sure where that goes. Over to this resistor, to earth. Strange. Really? I think all it does is do some resistance thing, or one and or two there, and then back to this cable here, which is back to back to earth on the motor. Strange. Why would you put a resistor in for earth? Maybe there's a shock can go through it or something. I don't know. Doesn't know what he's talking about. Right. See, if I just put power on here, nothing's going to happen. I know this machine doesn't work because I've tried it. I think. Can't remember. I think I've tried it. I have to look back through the videos. Put power in there. Live and neutral. Put the motor on here. Just snaps in like this. Look, that just clips in there. Right, so now I've got the motor and the feedback. Put the earth onto the motor just for fun. There it is. 240 volt in there probably. That capacitor does all the magic to turn it from star into delta. He's making it up again. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Look at them. Six of those little switch things. Triax? No. Who knows what they are? And a big one at the end. I don't know what that is. It's joining this side to this side, I think. Big switch thing. What would that be? Capacitor. So that's your capacitor thing. Letting the capacitor across. Where does that one go? Into the transformer. To the middle. It's coming over. You can't see it. Like, you see, there's the transformer pins there. You can't see because it it's a double sided board. You see, you've got traces up and down. It's coming down there. It's going into this relay. By the looks of things. You see this? You can't see this here, maybe. See those two traces? You can see them thereabouts. Two traces coming from the center of this big thing here. And over here. We're losing, we've lost one of those traces. It comes over here, maybe. Going down and around. But one of them seems to go to this guy. Complicated. It's not really complicated. It's just, there's lots of little bits on it. But if you knew what you were dealing with, then one day I'll know. Someday in the future, maybe I'll understand what I'm doing. Is that an earth there to this and a bit of kind of conductive stuff? Where does that go to? Can't see on the other side. Okay, what are we dealing with then? What can I do with that? I don't know. That's the board. That's all it does is drive the motor. And those little cables are just... Um, I'll show you on the washing machine. Little blue ones here. Funny little data, like basically data cables going up to the... brains in there, those little blue ones going up into there, so that when you turn it on upside down, it tells it what's going on. It's not, that end of it, it's not complicated, but it is more complicated than I made before. So all I want this to do is turn as fast as possible. So I have a feeling that there's just a way of using a capacitor like this. 470 microfarads. Of course, this could all be broken, but I don't know that it is. Using this across one of the poles of the motor and just letting it go haywire. Now, that would give us... It won't give us the correct voltage for the motor. It won't give us the correct frequency for the motor. That's the main thing, actually, for this one. The frequency. Where's the sticker gone? There it is. Frequency is what I'm worried about. 300 hertz. See, that's five times more. No, five, six, six times more 
uh, electrical, like more, more frequent than uh, your standard old electricity. So that would mean that it wouldn't go at 17,000 if it was 3,000, 17 divided by 6. Yeah, 2 or 3,000, that kind of speed. Right, putting it out there. Electrolux AEG Lava Mat Turbo, I think, whatever it was called. No, is it? That's a Lava Mat Turbo over there. What's this one? Yeah, it's another Lava Mat Turbo. What do you know? That one doesn't say Electrolux on it. Lava Mat Turbo, I have a feeling that one's got one of these motors in it as well. I'll look at that another day. Any ideas on how to turn this on and then use this to tell it what it's going to do? I have a feeling all I need to do is put like 5 volts across one of these and then it'll go zoing and off to, off to the races. A million miles an hour. Who knows? Tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you later.